Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, my name is Joji and I do makeup tutorials and makeup reviews here so if you wanted to see more of my future content, make sure that you are subscribed and in today's video, I am going to review the newest launch from Charlotte Tilbury and of course, this is the lipstick so I have four shades right here from the Kissing Formula and the Matte Revolution so for Kissing Formula, I have the shade Icon Baby and Red Carpet Pink I wanted to try some pink from her line and of course from matte revolution I have the shade mark of a kiss and Hollywood vixen so these are the red so if you are interested to see all of these shades then just keep on watching all right I am ready to try all of these shades and of course we are going to do some lip demonstration a swatch and a close-up look of the product if you notice lately I have a lot of lipstick swatches lipstick videos so this year we started with all the lips because last year I feel like it's all about blushes so I'm going to start with the pink colors I'm gonna show you a close-up look and also I just like to mention that this launch actually also comes with a lip liner but I didn't get a lip liner because if you've been on my channel um, I really don't use a lip liner so if you wanted to see of course there are swatches available on her website and of course a lot of people will also show you that but I do have some lip liners here in case we do need it first I am going to try the icon baby so this is the kissing fallen from the lipstick tree is this lipstick supposed to be a moisturizing and it says here with lipstick tree extract line lips with matching lip liner apply kissing with brush so it says a brush but i mean who does that lately okay so let's open this up and before i apply this i'm going to show you a close-up look of the packaging and the actual bullet of the lipstick so here is a close-up look of the lipstick packaging. It's so pretty. I really love it. And it comes with a pink because colors are pink as well. So shades on the bottom right there. And I'm going to show you the bullet. This is really new. I actually haven't used this because I wanted to try it with you guys. And it's my first impression too. So that's how they look like there. It's very similar if you just look at it like in a quick glance, but they are different, trust me. So that's how it looks like, but really, really pretty. Okay, so now let's go ahead and apply this. Okay, so I do have a lip plumping on my lip. Let's just remove this. All right, so first I'm going to try the Icon Baby. So I'm going to try without the lip liner first because I wanted to see how this one actually looks like. That is how it looks like on the lips without a lip liner and that's maybe like about two swipe and that's how it looks like. It's very interesting. So this one's supposed to have a crystal kind of feeling on the formula and I can really feel that texture. So you can see it adds this little sort of crystally kind of movement onto your lips. And it is a satin finish, as you can see that right now. Okay, so that's the color. I'm not like wowing really because I do have a similar color on this one, but it's definitely a pretty one. It's good to have if you don't know what you wanna wear. It's a nude pink for sure. So yeah, but overall, take a look at it and see what you think. And I'm going to just apply a lip liner quickly from Natasha Denona, I think. I'm going to use the shade Daphne. And this is the Daphne, how it looks like here. And see if it improves. Okay, so that is the edge or the side with a lip liner. I know that she was really marketing this with her uh, lip liner launch as well, but I feel like I have a similar color already, so I'm just going to use what I have here and you can take a look at that. It's definitely good with a lip liner because you can kind of make your lips a little bit more fuller. Also, you can line it to have more cleaner um, edge especially when it comes to this kind of shade so i feel like a lip liner would benefit this lipstick color so if you are planning to get this shade make sure that you know if you don't have a lip liner similar to the shade already that she launched make sure to um also include that because like i said it it will benefit from it 
It's definitely a satin lipstick and the texture that I'm feeling, it's not super uncomfortable. So that's just my kind of first initial thought about the Icon Baby shade. So now I'm going to give you a swatch. Okay. So that is how it looks like. I'm also going to give you a closer look of the swatch of this one so you can see that crystal texture that I'm talking about. Okay, so that is a close-up look of the lipstick. I'm not sure if you can really see that, but hopefully you can. It's hard to pick up sometimes with this kind of pigment in the camera, but that's how it looks like. And there you have it. It's time to try the next shade, which is Red Carpet Pink. Alrighty, let's try this. Alright, so that is the application as you see. I really like this kind of pink. I'm just going to layer one more time. Okay, so red carpet pink. I really like it. It really makes my lips a little bit more fuller and it's such a like iconic lipstick because when you talk about pink, this is something that you can almost wear on almost every single makeup look that you have. So now I'm just gonna use a lip liner on this one. And I think I'm just going to use this uh, Estee Lauder. This is the Double Wear Stay In Place Lip Pencil. And the color is just Nude number 18. This is actually new. Okay, so that is with the lip liner. Um, I'm gonna try with another lip liner here from MAC. I'm gonna try it with Spice. I mean, the Estee Lauder one is nice, but MAC one is darker. So you can see the difference already. That's the lip liner Spice. Yeah, I think that looks better and even better with the lipstick shade. So now it's time for a swatch. So very, very nice pink. So what I'm going to do here before I remove this red carpet pink is actually going to apply the first pink that we tried so that you guys can see because when I showed you earlier, it's very similar. But I'm going to apply it side by side so you guys can see it. So this is the red carpet pink and this is the Icon Baby. I'm not sure if you guys can see a big difference, but looking at it more personally, there is definitely a big difference, especially with the crystal texture. That is the both pink that we tried today. And here are the swatches. So now let's move forward to the red one, which is I'm super excited because all of those pictures that I see on her website was very, very interesting. And I was like, I need to get those red. I cannot have enough red. So let's remove this and move on to the red colors. So here is the Matte Revolution packaging and it's so pretty as well. So red color comes with red packaging and pink comes with pink. So, so now you can see the difference right there. And I'm going to show you the color of these two. And now it's time to try them. So first shade that I'm going to try is the Hollywood Vixen. So that is my lip. Let's see. Alright guys, so Hollywood Vixen. This is how it looks like. I mean, it's so pretty and I like that it's a matte finish. But it's a creamy matte, so it's super comfortable on the lips. And take a look at that. Really, really beautiful. I mean, it has this lit, like a pink undertone to it for some reason and I like that one and that's why I picked this up. So I'm going to give you a swatch. It's really pretty and that is how it looks like. Okay, I'm going to clean this up and it's time to apply the next shade. Alright, down to my last shade which is the Mark of a Kiss. That was a messy one. Trying to clean a red lipstick, it's very messy. So I'm glad that I was able to clean everything and now it's a clean lip. So let's try this. Alright guys, so Mark of a Kiss. This one is a favorite. This looks really good and I really love the color. Before I forget, I almost 
not giving you a swatch. So I'm going to swatch it right beside this red one, the Hollywood Vixen. So that is Mark of a Kiss. It's definitely on the darker tone already. So it's it has a little bit of a brown and orange into it. But you can see it on my lips right now. It's really beautiful. That is it. That's all the four shades that I have and these are the swatches again. Now my final thought about this launch is definitely a whole complete look to it. From the packaging to the feel, the quality of the product, the kissing line is made in Italy and the Matte Revolution is the same thing made in Italy. Charlotte Tilbury has 3.5 grams the price is on your screen so i'm gonna give you a final thought about this so first of all the kissing line is very comfortable it says to be a satin finish and the matte revolution line it is matte but creamy it's very very comfortable there's no scent to it so if you're you know if you are sensitive to that it's very good i really like the packaging of this one it's I was going to order all of them but I was like I'm crazy because first of all they are luxury lines so I'm just gonna kind of like order two each so you guys can see but if you wanted to get them and this is going to be your first time buying from Charlotte Tilbury I do have an affiliate link with them so I have a code I'm gonna put that on my link down below so that you guys can click on it so you can also get the 15% off if this is going to be your first time if not you can also use my link, it's going to help my channel. The first two pink that I tried, I wouldn't get both of them because they are clearly very similar. The only difference with these two is the Icon Baby. It has that crystal shimmer into it, which is I'm going to address as well. When I was cleaning the Icon Baby, when I was cleaning, removing the color, definitely the, the crystal shimmer stays on my lips, which is kind of like... It's not as easy to remove, but also like it's not comfortable when you're removing them. You have to kind of really rub your lips to get rid of it. You need to make sure that you have a makeup remover. So I use the Clinique one. I always use this. Take the day off. This one is supposed to be for lids, lashes, and lips. So it's good that, you know, three in one. So for that, yeah, Icon Baby is just a little bit slight advantage to it is that crystal is hard to remove when you wanted to make sure that it's clean but overall when you wear it it actually adds more movement to your lips so it looks more supple it looks more plumpy if that's what you're looking for this is a good shade that is my thought overall and then for the red shade yes they are completely different so i would definitely get both if you know if you have an option yes so i hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And again, thank you so much for watching and for supporting my video. And I will see you guys on my next review. Bye!